Hello, Crazy Talk Animator 3 users. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a sketched up pet, a dog or a cat, uh, from a PSD template into a full-fledged animation inside Crazy Talk Animator 3.1. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the template file that we have for, for pets. These are quadruped uh, templates for quadruped animals. And you can see that inside the PSD template, we have the main folders for bone labels. These will label everything. We have the, the folder for the joints and also for the images where we're going to put in all the sprites. So I can turn these off. I can show you the legs, the torsos, the ears, and everything else. So the idea is basically the same from the previous tutorials where we want to put all the sprites inside these folders. Okay, so I sketched my pet already. I'm going to open that PSD file here. I have my source files and I believe, where is my cat? I'm going to go inside and I have a sketch of a cat, the cute little cat that, that I made. <clears throat> here we are. So it's a very simple pet. I have the face features in one folder and then I have the head sprite the back leg, the front leg, and I have all the other layers like the tails, the ears, left and right, and also the torso and obviously the hind legs. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to merge first the face and the head to make everything into one file. That way I can manipulate it all together. Okay, and then I'm going to quickly grab all of these sprites and we're going to drag them into the PSD template that we have for pets. So quadruped right there and just align it briefly like that. So let's, now that we have all these sprite layers inside, let me drag them into the RL image folder. Remember, that's the folder that contain all the subfolders for the image sprites. And since we have that initial template in front, let me try to remove that. We don't need that at this point. You, we have it as a reference, so I'm just going to delete these quickly. Go through each and every layer, ears, head, delete, 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 neck, torso, legs, and finally the tail. There we go. All right, and I'm going to bring in the sprites that I created from my sketch cat into each designated folder. So let's go for face, go to the head folder, and then back leg, bring this into my folder here, front leg also. So as you can imagine, imagine it's the same procedure as we did before. Front, here we go, layer, this would be my, I believe this is my tail, yes. My ear. The ears are very important for a pet. As you can see in the template that we had uh, these long ears, and we're going to talk about that in a while. Hip, which is the torso, basically. Bring that in. And then finally, the front... And there we go, and the legs, the final legs. So let me try to collapse these folders quickly. It's very, very simple. And what we have to do now is align all these joints, okay? We need to align the joints. But before I do that, for the, for the ear, let me put the ear behind the head. Um, this will make it look better. So for the previous one, we had the ear in front. Now I just want to put it in the back. And um, uh, we need to align all these bones, okay? So this is the sample image that we have for our initial pet. And you can have an idea of the type of uh, join bones, bones that we have for the ears. So because this pet here has floppy ears, then we need one, two, three, four different bone joints for each ear. But for my cat, I only have that little nub in front. So I won't be using those extra joints later on. I'll only use the one that hinges to the head and then the one on the top, which would be uh, ear one and ear two. Okay. Um, also, you need to make sure that the neck here, it, everything is aligned properly because you want to rotate your sprite on that pivot point. So here, for example, I'm going to change that pivot point just to make sure it rotates right on the head, just like that. So we need to make sure that all these joints are properly set in my new cat sketch, especially the one with the tail, with the spine, back here in the torso and everything. All right. The tail in this example has up to five different bone joints. Okay. 
if you if your sketch has less doesn't need all these joints it's okay we can just leave some of these out just make sure that the extra ones are not touching the images of your sprite and I'll show you that in a while so here we have the joint for the leg front leg thigh okay that one is for the shank which would be for like the the ankle and then finally we have the foot and the toe nub at the very start and then the same thing for the hind legs you want to make sure that the hind legs here back legs we have them uh, labeled as everything is in order okay so once we review uh, the PSD file for my pet here we have an idea what everything has to look like so it's very very simple to later align these joints with the ones of my cat all right so finalizing here um, we're going to yeah everything is okay let's go back to my other image here I'm gonna get rid of that torso we're gonna focus on these joints here just like that okay so back with my cat um, we're going to try to do our best to align these bones so for the spine here for the neck so remember, since I don't have a prominent neck sprite, that I'm just going to put these these uh, joints inside behind my head like that. The same thing for the tail. I'm going to try to spread these joints out so that they're covered all through the sprite of uh, all through my layer sprite, just like that. So for the ears, I mentioned that the original ears have these floppy ears here that flop downwards, right? But in my sketch for my cat, I am only using the first two, not these these other uh, ones at the end. So it's okay. I'm just going to leave them out. And I'm going to make sure they're not touching anything. So I'm going to add these two joints first. Okay. Bring these two that I don't really need out. And make sure that my first joint for the ear is right where I want my ear to be flexing inside the skull. Now I could view this. I want this to be right at the radius um, at the beginning of my ear. I'm going to show you. Let me let me turn off the, the torso, here, the head, I'm sorry. And I'm going to bring that bone, put it right through the radius, in the middle of that radius of that semicircle uh, of my ear. Okay? And the other two just leave them out. So let's do the same for the legs here. So remember that the blue ones or for the hind legs so not the green one I'm sorry I'm gonna put in the blue joints for the hind legs the legs that are on the other side the toe nub there and then the foot and the same thing for upper thigh the thigh the shank the front of the toe and that looks okay same thing for my cat legs right about there and that looks about right yeah let me align these blue ones here once more so we're gonna do the same thing so that's why it's important for you to be familiar with the original structure of that PSD pet file that template now let's align the floor here I'm gonna grab the floor and I'm gonna put it right in the center where my feet are touching the ground and also try to put it um, vertically centered with my cat. And I'm going to save this as a quadruped simple PSD file. I'm going to relabel it as one. And now that we save this, um, I can simply bring this into Crazy Talk Animator 3.1 and we can start animating with all these amazing pet motion files inside. So this is one of the huge advantages of Crazy Talk Animator 3. So we have our, our cat and you'll see automatically that now all the bones are set. See how wonderful this is. So it says you, you simply have to make sure that all the sprites are in the right folder and all these bone joints are in the right place and your cat or your pet or your dog or your horse everything will be properly set up and you only have to do this once let me check the legs here so it's always an it's always good to preview and move your your limbs so you can articulate a bit and test them as you go all right so let's go back to the stage and I'm gonna try in some of these motions so the beauty of Crazy Talk Animator is that you don't have to, to reinvent the wheel. We have all these animations that are pre-made, and they save a lot, a lot of time.
So I'm going to animals here. Emotions, G3 animals, move. And I'm going to start with this walk start, then walk loop, which is too well, and finally walk ending. So we have them labeled as 1S, 2L, and 2E. So it's start, loop, and then the ending. And I can do the same for the rest. Need, let's say the start of the motion, the middle of the motion or the loop, and then the ending. Obviously, I can, I can add more of that middle motion if I choose. And I can just simply choose some motions that are um, as is. Let's see, try another one. Stretching, I like this one. Cats are cool, right, when they stretch like that? Very nice. But besides using motions for cats, I can also go into my dog folder, and I can choose run for dog, the loop, and then the ending. And then, ah, uh, he stops, just like in the cartoons. And I can try walk and loop and ending. So at the end, I have this all these amazing animations that I can use both for a cat and a dog, and I can play these seamlessly, and I can loop them over and over again, and I don't have to spend a lot of time with this. We did all the work. You have all these motions made. So it makes things very, very easy once you have this PSD template, which you can download from the Crazy Talk Animator file uh, website or um, from your order history if you have the pipeline version for Crazy Talk 3. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope to see some of your animation soon. Thank you.